today I'm going to show you how to be customizing your dock, including changing the skin, changing the stack's background so that you can have a picture here instead of just like a solid color, and how to change your trash icons. And one of the applications you're going to need is SuperDocker, which you can download from superdocker.com slash superdocker. I'll put the link to that on the right of the video box, on the right of the video, so you can just download it. And once you've opened it up, you'll be greeted with this screen, except there won't be all these themes here or any of this stuff here. And the next thing you need to do is go to superdocker.com. and just download ones that you like. They have 227 different themes that you can download or you can create your own and so you'll just I'll just download one to show you okay so what you do is you just double click on it once it's downloaded I already have it in here but I'll just replace it and then you'll have this and if you want it to be like that you just click apply and it's the same thing downloading a dock skin and then you can de delete both of these since it already has it stored. And then you can just change them to whatever you want. So I could change my doc to this. It'll just ask you for a password. And that's it. But I really like the Hubble one. It's cool. So I'll just put this back. Okay, so from here with stacks, you can change the color to whatever you want, but you can only have a color there. You can't have an image. So to create an image, the fir you can just get any image you want and you can create it. But you're going to have to change the size. You can have to download Rapido Resizer which you can get off the Apple website, and I'll put the link to the right of the video. So once you've downloaded it, just put in your doc. And then this is the one that I want it to be. And so I'll just drag this into Rapido Resizer. And if it isn't, isn't already, you need to change it to 275 by 157 and apply the dimensions. And then just save it. Next thing you need to do is open up your Macintosh hard drive, System, Library, Core Services, Doc, Secondary Click, Show Package Contents, open up the Contents, Resources, scroll down, 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 down. Okay, until you find this. Stack background dash C. C meaning for center. Then you should make a copy of this. So option drag this to wherever you want. So I'm just going to put it there. Then you can delete this. And then just rename this the same thing. I renamed it as that stack background D stack background dash C. And make sure it's that and make sure it's a dot PNG file. Then you can drag this in. I'll ask you to authenticate. And that's it. Then you need to um secure empty trash or else it won't empty it because it says that's in use. Then you need to open up terminal and relaunch the dock by doing kill all as one word, no caps, and then dock capitalized. And now I have that image on the background. But it won't work with these because um, there's just no room for an image there. Okay. So if you want to change the trash cans, it, you follow the same path. You go to Macintosh, System, Library, Core Services, Doc, Secondary Click, Show Package Contents, Contents, 
resources. Then you can just type in trash and I'll bring it down. Then you select these two. And again, make copies of them by option dragging. Then just delete them. And then finder secure empty trash because you deleted them you won't see that there's anything in there but there actually was then you need to rename the empty one to trash empty dot png and the other one to trash full dot png and make sure it's no caps one word and that's dot png then drag these in authenticate each one Drag and trash full. And then just reorganize them. So they'll be easier to find next time. And then you need to do the same thing. Go to terminal. And go kill. All. Doc. Same way you did before. Lowercase kill all is one word in capital doc then just empty the trash again it's five oh yeah put a file in it then empty it so because it needs to change itself because it's not going to be able to change it, so then there'd be nothing there. So then you can just empty the trash, and then you're going to have your new trash icons. So this was a slightly long video, so thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Bye.